Today, Denison Yachting is taking you on an in-depth walkthrough of a Hinkley 55 Talaria MK2, and she may just be the greatest Hinkley ever built, and that might be an understatement. She is elegantly stunning. Her flag blue hull is a showstopper. It was hard to film today's walkthrough because of the number of people walking past her slip in Vero Beach, Florida, wanting to take a look. The number one question we heard, why would anyone want to sell this thing? The doghouse is the most highly spec Talaria that Hinkley has ever produced. With over 800,000 in upgrades and custom features, this 45 is armed to the teeth with options and is the summation of Hinkley's prestige in the yachting industry. Some of her upgrades include a Seakeeper 9 stabilizer, a FLIR night vision camera, upgraded CAT C18 ACERT common rail engines, an $80,000 varnish package, and the list goes on. We'd like to welcome you aboard. All of the way aft is our custom oversized teak swim platform. On the port side are her shore power connections that are hidden behind a hinged latch. The shore power is run on Glendinning reels. At night, you can use her three underwater lights to light up the water at the stern. On the starboard side is a transom door. The cockpit on this Hinkley is part of what makes this boat stand out from other boats in the marina. It's a nod to an era where in which things were slower and more intentional. Imagine how easy it would be to lose yourself in conversation with three or four loved ones as the sun sets. All of the seating back here is upholstered with Ralph Lauren patio striped blue cushions, adding to her Americana feel. There's also a removable high-low teak table that transforms this area into an open-air dining space. Running up and down the port and starboard sides are varnished teak combing rails. This is an area where Hinkley has been getting it right for over nine decades. Forward in the cockpit, on both sides of the salon doors, is her split patio wet bar. On the port side is her sink, which is right beside a concealable light. Below the sink is an ice maker. Opposite to starboard is a Kenyan grill. In between the grill and the fridge is a switch panel that electrically controls her retractable Tamoid cockpit awning. as well as her actuated lazarette hatch that reveals her 17KW Onan generator and Seakeeper, and this panel also provides access to her engine room. Her camera monitored engine room houses a pair of CAT C18 ACERTs. Combined, they generate 2300 horsepower. This upgraded engine package is the largest engine option for this boat. She has a top speed of 39 knots, which is impressive considering her 66,000 pound weight and 1,200 gallon fuel capacity. Her Kevlar coated hull cuts through the waves with ease. She's moved by twin Hamilton 403 jets. One of the most practical upgrades on board are the four fender storage hatches underfoot on the side decks. Any cruising couple would nod to this creative use of typically unused space. Teak grab rails continue forward from the top of the pilot house to the bow cap. Enclosing the foredeck is a teak tow rail and a 30 inch tall stainless bow rail. Up here you actually feel safe when underway. Any of the exterior deck that isn't teak is finished with this light cream smooth gel coat. Forward is her concealed ground tackle with a mirror windlass and a swiveling bow anchor. There's nothing little boat about this Talaria 55, and we see this on the roof of the pilot house with her KVH satellite dome, her satellite phone receiver, a 48 inch open array radar, and this top of the line FLIR night vision camera. Now let's take a look at her interior. Throughout the entire interior, we find high gloss cherry joinery. Every piece of lumber was selected specifically for this interior. While this may seem over the top, it speaks to how seriously Hinkley takes their builds. To starboard is a molded in settee with a high-low cherry table. It has a dining configuration, 
a streamlined cocktail configuration, and can also convert into a berth. Behind the settee is the first of three 40-inch smart TVs found on board. To port is a chart cabinet in between two armchairs. The ceiling overhead offers a lot to this space as well. It's covered in white sound dampening with cherry ribbing. There are also four electric skylights which can be opened at the touch of a button. Next, let's take a look at her helm. Forward of her twin stid helm seats are her state-of-the-art navigation electronics. Here we find a pair of Garmin 8600 multifunction displays. In between these are a depth and speed display and a Seakeeper control panel. Below are her twin cat engine displays. This brings us to her FLIR joystick, searchlight control, wiper controls, as well as her trim tabs. At knee level is a satellite phone, Garmin VHF radio, and an AC control. On the starboard side of the wheel are her cat engine controls. Just aft are her joystick and its control screen. This Hinkley joystick was one of the main reasons for the joystick revolution. Its ingenious fly-by-wire system remains as innovative today as it was before it became an industry standard. Immediately aft of the joystick is a Garmin Autopilot and an auxiliary data display. On both the starboard and port sides are electric windows that slide forward and aft to open up the salon. Now looking to port, we see a STID bench seat which faces a third Garmin multifunction display and gives the co-pilot or traveling companion another satellite phone, a second VHF, and a duplicate FLIR camera joystick. Stepping down to the lower level, we come to the galley on the port side. Here we find a microwave, just below are a pair of fridge freezer drawers, a top-loading freezer, a stainless sink, and a two-burner Gaginal range. Forward of the galley is the day head. This is a wet head with a vanity and shower. Directly across from here is the dinette. The owner chose this option over having this area as a second stateroom. This is another feature that makes this a literal dream boat for any couple taking on the Great Loop. With plush white seating for up to four and a cherry high-low table, this area can also be converted into a third berth. Sticking to the starboard side, we come to a cabinet that hides a splendid washer-dryer combo. Our last stop on today's walkthrough of the doghouse brings us to the master stateroom. This master was specifically designed to be larger than the standard master and features a forward-facing walk-around queen berth. On the forward bulkhead is a TV. There's a mirrored storage configuration down here. Each side has a hanging locker with copious drawer and cabinet storage. These drawer pulls and knobs are a great feature found throughout the yacht because they actually lock in place so that nothing can pop open when underway in rough seas. Rounding out the master is this large ensuite which has his and her sinks and a shower stall. On behalf of the Denison team, we are genuinely excited to present to you this all-time great Hinkley 55 Talaria MK2. This is the type of boat that keeps us falling deeper in love with boating. It is an ode to classic American craftsmanship and shows us that attention to detail is the cornerstone of bringing something like this to life. This really is an easy boat to both romanticize and run. Wherever she finds herself, she will continue to receive praise from both sea and land. We just feel lucky to have been a small part of her journey as she changes hands. If you would like a full spec sheet or want to see her in person, please feel free to contact David Johnson at any time.